Misty the Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter and I went to Goodwill and I know that I just said that I wasn't go that I was gonna rain in on my thrifting but I was over in the area which I live in a small town so I'm always over in the area because that's that's one road basically that has most everything that you need in this town is on this one road but i went ahead and went in anyway and i'm glad that i did because i did find some good things now i'm trying to stay away from everyday fashion clothing i'm wanting to just stick with the vintage clothing also handbags and shoes because they do well for me i really like to find things that are like new old stock those types of things. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the shoes that I got. I did find these uh, Giorgio Brutini shoes. They are in very, very good condition. They All the shoes in my Goodwill are 450. Uh, these really don't even look like they've ever been worn. They have this nice, what is this, the horse bit um, accent. That's what I'm looking for on the top they're a size nine and a half i also found these doc martens which i was really excited about i do find doc martens quite often at this goodwill that i went to so these are in excellent condition they are sandals now i've not sold the sandals before and i didn't even look up comps for these because paying 450 for a pair of doc martens to me is a no-brainer i know i'm going to at least make at least be able to sell them for 25 dollars uh, they have the Velcro crisscross here at the top. They're a size 8, so they're in excellent condition. So I picked those up as well. All right, the handbags that I picked up. I found a fossil purse. I'm always looking for fossil purses. They always sell very fast for me. This is a little bit different of a style than one that I am that I have sold before. Um, it is just this little black shoulder bag. It has this flap here, so it kind of has a built-in wallet. So it has a place for your ID and credit cards there. And it does have the Fossil logo on the inside. It does not, unfortunately, have the little key fob, you know, charm that hangs on the bottom. But it does have the Fossil labeling on the end. I did pay $4.49 for this, and I usually get about $30 and up. For an, a fossil bag. I also found this and I have things stuck inside it because I forgot my reusable bag. So I since I bought several purses and handbags I just told them to put everything that I got inside the bags. But I got this really nice McGregor. There is a vintage duffel bag and I love it. It is straight up from the 90s. It doesn't feel like it has ever been used. So I'm going to pull the things out from the inside of this bag. I found this Instax Fujifilm wide, like a Polaroid film. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I paid $1.99 each for them, and I could sell them for about $10 to $12 each on eBay. So that was a good buy there. This is the kind of stuff I love to find. This stuff that's brand new in packaging or the stuff that is an old stock. <laughs> she just came home from work. All right. The next thing I found, and I think that this is not, I don't think that it's vintage. I think that it's like a re, a remade. What is the word that I'm looking for? A reissued caboodles because they had done these again it's still the same it looks the same as the vintage it doesn't have the same feel and it just does to me i think that i just don't think that it's a vintage piece but my daughter just said she liked it so it's probably going to be hers i did pay 2.99 for it it is a this little i want to say it's like for jewelry it has a nice mirror there but i also found now i love to buy mugs i love to sell mugs i like to collect mugs and I really don't drink coffee a whole heck of a lot, but I do like mugs. And I took the the, the sticker off of it because I wanted to see the bottom of this. Um, the mugs in my Goodwill are 69, 65 cents. And this is a Mayor China from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. It's a restaurant wear mm, little tea mug. Now, normally these are a dime a dozen. They're not that spectacular. It does have this 
pretty coloring. It's a, have almost like a teal and a burgundy or a brown coloring on it. The cool thing about this mug is that it says it's from the United States Coast Guard. So it was probably on a boat, a ship, the Coast Guard, that the Coast Guard commissions. Uh, so, oh, guess who was out? Brutus. Brutus got out again. He's a jerk. He's our little Jack Russell Terrier and he digs holes and gets out and runs amok. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my stories because he is a hot mess and he's as cute as cute can be, but he just likes to be wild and free. And we live in a cul-de-sac in the country, so he's not in any danger and he does stick around, but he, it's not the point. He's getting out and he's not supposed to. See, there he is. He's just living his life. Okay. So the mug, I don't know what it's worth, but I will look up some comps and see. I just thought it was a really cool mug. You don't really see Coast Guard mugs in the middle of Indiana or in the Southern part of Indiana. So I picked it up. And believe it or not, my husband works for the Navy in Southern Indiana, there is a naval base. Fun fact there. The next thing that I got is this little metal tissue box holder. It is very 1950s, 1960s. It is metal. There's no maker's mark on it. I paid $1.99 for it. And whenever I see things like this, whenever I see a poodle now, one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch is Liz Retros, and I'll link her channel below, but it's got a poodle schnoodle. Puda, Puda Schnuda, I think that's what she calls them. They're on the corner. She's hilarious. If you like vintage items, I highly suggest that you watch her and her and her husband. You know, you'll never see their face. You don't know what they look like, but they're just, I just, I just enjoy watching them. So I'll link her channel below, but this, I don't really know the worth. I will try to sell it in the shop. I would say I probably will get 10 to $12 for this little thing. Okay, this is really cool. And I paid $3.99 for it. It is a Scentsy warmer and it's this cute little camera. Isn't that so cute? Okay, the only issue is it's missing its little uh, dish. So you put the bulb in there and it has a dish. I think that you can order replacements, but I think that I actually have a couple of them myself from uh, Scentsy Burners that I have. And I think I'm going to keep this. I just think that it's so cute. These are the colors, the color scheme that I have in my kitchen. So I think I'm going to keep this. The next item that I got is this, you know, and I say this a lot. This is the section in Goodwill that I love. It's just one aisle and they just have stuff thrown on the shelves, literally. But it's, like the film and computer ink and you know napkins and cups and it's just kind of a hodgepodge of things but you can sit and dig through them and i have always found pretty good things just digging through the stuff this was a thing another thing that was on that shelf brand new with tag dog collar it is made by um excellent elite elite spanker and it's challenge outdoors but it is a velcro you, know, you can change these out but this one is an emotional support color so anyway this was new with tags these sell for about twenty dollars online and i paid 3.99 the next item that i got was some that was also on that shelf of goodness like i like to call it it is joseph studio and it is the Holy Family with Archangel figure. And I paid $5.99 for this. But the comps on these were great. They were selling. Well, okay, they were kind of all over the place. This one is new in, you know, it still has the styrofoam surrounding it there. You can see it's just kind of one of those resin statues making sure that it's not, I probably should have done this in the store, but I didn't, making sure that Joseph's staff was still 
intact than it is. But these were kind of all over the place. I had seen some that were listed for sale for crazy prices, but that, I mean, that's common. So you never should really pay attention to the for sale listings other than to see how saturated the market is. So you can kind of adjust what your price is. But some that were similar to this one sold, sold uh, for about $25 to $30. And there was another one that was a different style, but it sold for $70. So I don't know. Uh, I will probably won't list this until closer to fall. Um, I, that's just what I prefer to do. Um, a lot of it is me. I just am not in the frame of mind that I really want to list Christmas items. But if you do, that's fine. And people do buy Christmas all year round. But I, me personally, I have, I just wait. I wait so I can get the most bang for my buck, I guess. This was dated 2010 from Roman Incorporated. So we'll see how it does. I mean, I th the $5.99 is a bit steep for me. It's one of the highest things that I bought today, the highest priced things that I bought today. Actually, I think it was the highest priced item that I bought today. Okay, so the next item I got, you know, I'm like I said, I'm trying not to focus a lot on clothing, but I do like to look through the vintage t-shirts and my camera is not focusing at all. I'm still using my gimpy phone. It, I, I dropped it and it's not been the same since, but I'm cheap and I'll use it until I can use it no longer. I'm not due for an upgrade until October. So I'm trying to make it last. Okay, so I picked up these Land's End Vintage. Here's the tag, so you can see the tag. See, now it's gonna focus. These are Land's End kind of chubbies. So that chubbies style. Swim trunks, men's swim trunks. They're straight out of the 90s. They're great coloring. Um, so I think that these will do really well. They're a size medium. They're fully lined. They're from Land's End. There's no flaws. And I paid $1.99. Which is why I like to look at the pajamas and the swim trunk, swim trunk, swim suits at my Goodwill because they're all $1.99. And I like to pay $1.99 for things. All right, the next item that I got is this vintage Victoria's Secret gold label. This is what the gold label looks like. It is a 100% silk size medium nightshirt. It's in excellent condition. The thing that you want to look at when you're picking up these is to make sure that all of the buttons are still there. Trust me, because I have bought several of these in the past and would get them home and the buttons were not all there. Especially these because they are silk covered buttons too. So it's going to be close to impossible to, to replace the buttons on these. Uh, the vintage Victoria's Secret items do very well for me on Mercari. That's typically where I sell them. Uh, and I should get about $20 to $25 out of this nightshirt. And I paid a dollar focus. Oh, it's not focused, but I did pay $1.99 for it. It was ripped off. I also picked up a second vintage Victoria's Secret gold label. This is also the gold label. It's very pretty. So this is it's just a little short chamois nighty, 100% silk. It's very pretty. It has adjustable straps here and this really pretty lacing, lace, lacing, lace trim around the bust. Now when I take measurements of these, I usually will put the adjustable strap on the, the biggest setting and list that in my listing. So I'll do a length and then also a bust, which is just from the side to side. I should also get about $25 for this as well. And I also paid a $1.99. Two more Victoria's Secret items. Now, and then this is more my style of pajamas and not not that but i got these for myself but they are vi just victoria's secret cotton good old cotton nightshirt uh, just an oversized t-shirt made out of cotton so i got that purple one and this peach one and those are mine last item of clothing i got i only got a couple more things to show you i also paid a dollar 99 for and believe it or not this was over in the men's graphic t-shirts because 
They don't price the women's graphic t-shirts at $1.99. Oh no, 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 they're $3.99. This was in the men's section, because you know men like to wear this little um, Eeyore with flowers in his mouth. But this is the kind of thing that's coming back in style. This is not like vintage single stitched glory, but it is from Disney. It's late, it is, you know, marked Disney. Probably from the Disney store. So it's cute, isn't it? So this is the kind of stuff that I think the, the, the young kids are starting to bring back again. I know that when I was a teenager in the 90s, the Looney Tunes kind of made a comeback then too. And I think that trend is starting to come around again. Even I mean, this is Disney and not Looney Tunes, but you know what I mean. All right, really, I got the, the little mug. The Coast Guard mug was a vintage item that I got. And I got this too. I paid $1.99. This is a Lusterware bookend. And it's got some weight to it. It's pretty heavy. You know, usually Lusterware is like a little dainty, lightweight piece of glassware. And this on the back, it's just one. I just have one of them. It says it's made in Japan. And it is, it has this nice Lusterware sheen to it. I didn't look comps up for this. I just kind of can't get over the, the weight of it because it, it isn't normally this you know, heavy of a piece. So I got this guy, He's so cute. He has a little bouquet or she, I think it's a girl. She has a little bouquet of flowers in her hand. Like I said, it's just the one, but I think I can, um, I think I can sell this on Etsy. You know, one bookends will also sell depending on the motif, but this is really a really nice piece. You no, know, it just has, it's it's a sturdy piece of glassware. It almost feels like pottery, but it's not. I don't know, this is puzzling me, but for $1.99, I wanted to go ahead and give it a try and see. Okay, two more items. I found, I, I, I always find Vera Bradley at the Goodwill. Vera Bradley, um, I don't know if it's still manufactured in Indiana, but it was an Indiana base. I don't think that it is. I think they've sourced it out. But um, it was based out of Indiana, near Fort Wayne, Indiana. And every year they would have this huge Vera Bradley um, factory outlet sale. And, but I believe it was in Mother's, around Mother's Day in May sometime. And I went one year when my daughter, who is now almost 20, was a baby. And I got a diaper bag and a few other things. But there were hundreds of people there and they just would have these big boxes filled with bags and people would just dig and dig and dig and dig. And I think I got a diaper bag for like $15. So the prices were incredible. Don't know that they do it anymore. I'll have to double check. But um, so Vera Bradley is very prevalent in, you know, in Indiana, in my area. I do find it a lot at Goodwill. Um, I myself carry Vera Bradley. I have a carrying a Vera Bradley bag right now. I love it. Um, so I did pick this bag up. It is, I paid $3.99 for it. And I think that this is, it might be the mail bag. I don't know. I don't, I know it's not the laptop bag, but it has the two, um, you know, toggles right here. It, it, so it's like a maroon and a coral color. And on the inside... It has a bunch of pockets here. It's like a messenger bag, I guess, is what it would be considered. But it's in great, great condition. Um, it has the adjustable strap, and it is. it does have the Vera Bradley logos there. Nice zipper compartment on the back. So this is a great purse. I, I paid $350 for it. I probably will be able to sell it for about $25, give or take. But it's, it's in very clean condition. And this, is, I think, is a newer style bag so I got that and the last thing nope it's not the last thing two more things these last two things though I did pull off of the carts they were bringing the cart around here see it and just my hair I'm a mess today and my mom is always the first one to comment on my videos or send me a text message that my hair is a mess so it's a mess mom I know I picked up this coach wallet maroon color and it has it's in great condition it's leather on the inside it has the coach logo there got the little spot for change there it's really i don't think it doesn't appear that it has ever 
been used. But I did pay $1.99 for this coach wallet. And this last item is the thing that I'm most excited about. I mentioned it in my Insta stories, but it is a Dooney Burke, Dooney and Burke, if you want to pronounce it correctly. I myself love Dooney and Burke. I like the classic 1990s purses. That's my style. I have a couple of them that I use quite often. This pattern is not, you know, something that I would carry. Uh, it has bumblebees on it with D's. I guess Dooney and Burke. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the what the deal with the bees is. But this is a authentic Dooney and Burke bag. It's got the leather tag there and the tag on the inside here with the serial number on the back. So I will be able to type in the serial number on the back and find out exactly what this bag is called. Um, I did see comps on smaller bags and they were selling for about 30 to 35 dollars so this larger tote bag i mean i'm thinking i could probably get about 45 dollars for give or take so it's a nice big tote bag and it has this pocket on the front here and i paid 4.49 for it it was on the the cart that they had just wheeled out and let me tell you i don't know about you but when i hear the sound of those carts I stop what I'm doing and I go and search because I did pull off um, this, the Coach Wallet, the Vera Bradley lap messenger bag, and the Scentsy Warmer. I did pull all of those off of the cart today. That's all I got today. So I didn't do any footage on the inside because I wasn't expecting, wasn't thinking I was going to go in there and it was kind of been kind of a stressful day and I just kind of wanted to do something mindless and I didn't want to focus on filming. So I did get my haul filmed, so there's at least that, but that's it. I spent 40, $44 I did round up. I mean, if I sell this, then it, I paid for everything. So that's always a good feeling to know that one thing that you bought will pay for the entire the entire fun time that you had looking for things. Anyway, that is this video for today. And I hope that you will hit the like button and that you'll subscribe and that you'll continue to follow me on my reselling journey. I'm going to be posting videos three times a week and I hope that you will like and comment and tell me, let's see, what could you tell me in the comments today? Why don't you tell me if you think I did okay with this, the, the Joseph Studio Archangel Holy Family from Roman Incorporated, or just tell me what you liked. What was your favorite thing that I picked up? So that's my video, and I will see you very soon. Keep vintage hunting and be a blessing to you.